Support for this podcast comes from the patrons at patreon.com slash FML FPL. What are we up to here? We're back. We're back. I feel like I still have an international break, like breathing down my neck. Well, I can't. We're back for four weeks only, limited time only. Yeah, I know. But it feels like I'm like, oh shit, is it next week? Oh, no, no. Is it two weeks? Oh, no, no. Oh, fuck. It's three weeks away. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's always right there, isn't it? What's up with you, dude? I'm chilling, dog. That's lost. Yeah. I'm sad stink, all day. Stinky. Yeah, I was too busy at work with work today to be able to watch my fucking dumb ass team still not have won a game this season. Crystal Palace. In November. Crystal Palace FC Football Club. Fuck. And so I was very pleased to have been saved that torment. I don't know if I could have taken an, a, a nil nil one loss if I actually watched the whole fucking game. So that was uh, felt like I was uh, like you know cast aside. I don't. I I actually agree. Yeah, I don't think you would have been able to handle that game. And you guys are a fucking mess. And Glasner's yeah, maybe out. I don't know. I don't all know. right, all right, all right. So, don't need to know. speculate on that. Yeah, yeah what, a, yeah. what about you over on your side of the? Yeah, you know, same. That's I, I. I went into Sunday thinking, wow. Imagine if Liverpool win in the morning, Mets win, Jets win. Ah, one for three. Yeah. But you know, if you if you hit one for three, you go to the Baseball Hall of Fame. So you know, in some in some sense, that's good. <sighs> <laughs> you know what's cool is I know that you're on a a pretty nice red arrow. I'm on pretty a small, nice. I doubled my rank. I'm on a small green Fucking arrow, but nice. we have the exact same number of points in the exact same rank. We didn't get there the same way this week, though. Come on, that's cool, though. I've what? used all my chips. <laughs> I don't know, the chips, you have chips here, in the hand. chips I over there. The I'm not fucking yeah. no, competing. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's but nice. we're just aligned, you know. Yeah, it's, we're on uh, the same same page, same point, same page, same page. Let's look at Team Walsh. God. Thirty-two went down points. Here? One game gave me my points. I just the the tilting of Holland, like bringing him in after game week five, and just captain blank, captain blank, captain That's blank. Fucking fucked. It's hard. That's been really hard for me over the last, yeah. uh, I mean, I guess it's over a month since there's an international break every two weeks, but um, that's been very difficult to stomach that's for Team really Walsh. We just, we'll just say that. But my Villa guys were the only returns. It's just, you know, Dib God seems to, Dib God for those, the uninitiated is Tyler Dibbling. <laughs> I didn't realize that he just gets a yellow card every game. <laughs> Could yeah, definitely do without that. He's just caught out of position and does some petulant shit every game because he's a, he's, he's a, a fucking kid. child. He's, yeah, 18. he's a kid. Yeah, and um, he just has a boner at all times. I imagine because yeah, that's yeah. what we were all doing at eighteen. But yeah, yeah, bad. everyone's bad. Everything was bad. Saka didn't play. Kill me. Apparently, Absolutely did terrible. you see all the cartel shit on Discord? Are you privy to that? I saw a little bit of the chat. On Discord, but I mean, obviously, I'm not on Twitter, and I don't really yeah, understand I, or know who the actors are. I didn't know until just now, because a bunch of people were asking questions that with the word cartel in it, and I was like, fuck are you guys talking about? Like, stop. And so Ron said, it was a thing on Twitter at Deadline. Tons of content creators advised all week to hold Sokka, but last minute, they transferred Sokka to Sun. There were accusations of insider info and shit. Fuck off! I don't know. I don't I'm, I'm having a hard. I, I I can feel myself wanting to get worked up over this. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And also, it's just like I don't care. I, I can't. Don't I care. can't care. I don't know. Like, are people just sitting there with these big text things and being like, "Yeah, what's that? Like, who's what's happening? Like, this guy, that guy, and." I think there's Again. probably a WhatsApp group and they that's probably exactly what's happening. And fucking it's like a fucking they they have like a 
grand mass. They're like a cult, and there there's got to be some cult leader. And he sent beams out the signal. Sakura son. Everyone panics one second before the deadline does the move and, you know, gains plus seven or whatever the fuck. But who cares, dude? Fucking who cares? It's just like if you're watching or paying attention to what, you know, these alleged content creators <laughs> of which whom I suppose were, I mean, we're, both we of are. us hold Sokka, like just yeah. don't know what's Easy happening. Easy hold. Easy <laughs> hold. He's obviously playing. <laughs> But like I, I just I can't be fucked to follow some type of timeline of you know they're <laughs> advocating X Y and Z and I mean I can understand the the disingenuousness if they're dealing with hidden information and then they have close contacts who are asking yeah. them to keep themselves secret and they're winning money leagues because of it like well it's I mean it's five points here six points yeah, there is you know. one thing but I think it's just the nature of like who are you trusting and what's happening and um I mean I could imagine that feeling bad and also at the same time it's like this game is fucking ridiculously <laughs> stupid and they make up what the rules are as we've and, been saying for years week to week as they go along yeah and Son got an assist, and well, then he got an assist take removed. Away. And I, I mean that that we can, I'm sure we'll get onto later. But yeah, it's just stupid, you know. I mean, it's a stupid game. Content creators, like we're all fucking idiots. We don't know anything. It's just you're obviously just subscribed to the wrong podcast. Join us at FMLPL. We have no hidden information, no secret contacts, no WhatsApp groups. We just fucking play the game. Yeah, Hold play it as it guy. lies. We hold yeah. Dibbling, we start soccer with confidence. <laughs> we go for <laughs> How about you over there with your flying Team Milan, flight? Everton related. Fuck 45 points. That's how bad a fucking week it was. 45 feels like fucking flight. flying. Yeah. Yeah. Fuckford and Michelenko, dude, is they came they're coming in for you big time. The true joy isn't just that I got a Michelenko seven point auto sub. It's that I had my bench order correct because there are a bunch of people on our discord who had some menu first on their bench. And I was like, that's on you. We have very few actual manager decisions to make in this goddamn game. And that's one of them. And I'm so happy I got it right. Cause I got the Michelenko seven pointer. Yeah. Pick for I'm glad you didn't ask great. me. Cause I would have said definitely Semenyo over Michaelenko. Okay. <laughs> Dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, you told me he's missing big chances on red card for an hour and a half for fun. Yeah. So that's maybe. Yeah. Pra- yeah. Prashash, but yeah. 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 I mean, Semenyo got a big chance. He got, yeah. he got his one big chance. Um, I brought in Foden and Archer. Didn't get rid of Sokka, got rid of Shada and Ali, Ali instead. So I, I, I Very barely, creative. barely Very creative, came out yeah. positive there. Yeah, I mean, I just knew I wanted to get rid of Ali out of my, I guess no one heard or a lot of people didn't hear the Patreon pop, but it was more like, who am I going to want to get rid of the most as I move towards probably, you know, two premium midfielders with Holland. But that might all blow up because Holland might be the worst pick in the game, but that aside, I knew Ollie was probably first on my kill list. So I just wanted to do that while holding Sokka in a good fixture. Joke's on me. Doesn't even fucking play. And then I'll, you know, wait till this week when Arsenal have Liverpool to, you know, pick my other premium is, is kind of why I did that. But Archer, nine-pointer. Fucking genius move. Amazing. Great pick. Great pick. Yep. Yeah, amazing. And somehow Roger's shot wasn't an own goal, but we take those. I don't know what the fuck the rules are. I don't know. I mean, those ones, when they take the shot from that far away, you can't, like, what are you going to get? Some fucking physicist to draw some, like, it's like a splatter bloodline or something. I mean, it, as it, you it, said, it's, it's made up. I mean, it, yeah. it's literally like the, the rule is obviously stupid because yeah. that just, uh, it's obviously an own goal by any sense of logic. Like, the ball doesn't go in the net unless it hits Bassie's fat fucking ass. Therefore, it should be an own goal, but I don't fucking care. I yeah. get the points. Um, yeah. October Mug League leaders. One more game week to go. This is from FPL game week because I don't know if the game's updated yet. Probably not. They're probably still adding an assist. Alex Parry, aka Wack FC, and first Sean Whittle, aka Vardy, always on time. And in third, Kyle Shepard, aka Post Thought XG. Love that. Shout out to the public league leaders, Seth Stillman, aka Felix FC. Dude, where are we going? Or aren't 
we going? This is going to be a long one. That's all I can say. I think we should start with Manchester City. Okay. The champions. Sure. The gold badged frauds. So we're a few games since the Rodri injury. Yep. They can't create a big fucking chance. They're losing in XG. They cross 40 plus times a game and do fucking nothing and play for corners. Yep. What the fuck are we doing here? I mean, it just feels insane. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's a multi layered question because, you know, everyone has Holland, obviously. And then everyone has, um, pretty much everyone has at least one defender. Yeah. Lewis um, or Gavard, most people. Yeah. So, I mean, let's start with the Holland, you know, $15 million question, I guess. Yeah. Let's start with Holland. Jitterbug said, is it better to roll this week to maximize potentially shipping out Holland in 10? Because everyone should know they're home Southampton in nine. So we're not getting rid of this week. And then Ethical said, any doubts creeping in about Holland after Southampton? 15.2 buys a lot of stuff in the squad. So, yeah. I'm very much thinking about it. I mean, yeah. it's it's weird with Holland because I think that the reputation that he has, especially like this season, last season, is like he just gets the final shot and he's so good at finishing. So all he does is score goals and he never touches the ball otherwise. But when he was on Dortmund, he was like incredible at many things, not just shooting. So good in build up, so good on the break, so good at dribbling, creating chances all the time. time. Yeah. But Pep has constructed this fucking house of cards, this delicate balance of this, that you don't do that in this system, partially because I think they get no transition opportunities ever against anyone. Well, also, it conserves his energy. And it conserves his energy, keeps him fit, which was always a problem. Yeah. And now we're just looking at this team where I'm just like, I never expect him to score. He's bad in the air. I know he's big, but he's bad in the air. He's bad at headers. And all they fucking do is get it to one of their goddamn dribbly wingers and fucking cross. And then the cross gets headed out by some fucking Dawson and they take a corner. (laughs) It's like they're bad right now. They're worse than they've been for years right now. It's you can't argue against that. Like the last few games are, I think, probably the worst three game. I could maybe miss misremembering some of the Rodri out periods that they've had over the last handful of years. But the last three games from City are about as bad as you could possibly imagine them of looking in. I mean, I think it was like, it was interesting the minute Grealish came on. He stopped, like, I mean, Doku, I I don't want (laughs) to upset you. No, no, no. Please go off. I mean, we're getting, we're getting peak Jesus Navas here. I mean, he's going to be in Spain playing fullback in five seasons. The minute that Grealish came on and realized, like, oh, let me float these crosses to the back post instead of just spam them into the guy immediately in front of me to win a corner. They were like, all, they were, Kill, like for those 15, 10 minutes, it was like, oh, they're fucking scrambling. Like wolves don't know what to do. Yeah. And there were like some late runners. And like, so that was one thing I just noticed. But, you know, I mean, Doku and Savio are just carbon copies of each other who just do a lot really good middle third, build up, you know, yep. foul, blah, blah, blah. But yep. when they get the ball to feed at the final third, there's just no movement. There's no one two passing in the middle of the area at the top of the box. Like Lamina just shut them down. And, you know, fucking Gundo looks beyond washed. He's just so Jesus. slow. Yeah. He's just so slow. Like, it's yeah. not even like his body, but almost like his mind as well. He's just, he just seems like he's moving at half speed. And Bill also just was just kind of pedestrian. And Kovacic, you know, he his his weaknesses were being exploited, just not moving the ball fast enough. And, and they just keep getting the ball to Ruban at the top of the box. And, <laughs> you know, no insane. one on Wolf was as pre- They're just... And they, they just didn't, they could just didn't do anything. I mean, we've seen this game. It reminded me there was a Southampton game that they played against maybe like three years ago where they won one nil at the death on some cross. And I think they put in like 40 crosses in this game. I don't know if you remember that that game like a couple of years ago. Where, no, I can't really remember yeah. it. Yeah. But I mean, you know, they've had this in their locker, but you know, you're talking about the Rodri aspect from, from certainly that's an issue, but you know, the Kevin aspect is also what we've been talking yes. about. And, yes. You know, him missing the last four games and like, it looks like he picked something else, some, some new thing up after he trained for one day. Um, so it's like, I have, I'm, I'm caught like of two minds where it's, you know, we see these last few games and, you know, you don't not only not want 
Holland, who's 15 million, but you don't want a city player. You don't in want your fucking team. anyone. Yeah. And then also the thing that we talk about all the time is they have world class players and the best manager in the world. So they're not going to just keep doing this. Like they're yeah. going to obviously improve and yeah. Yeah. start scoring again because they're going to either win the league or finish like second. So I don't know. Like, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm conflicted in that sense of, like, yes, Holland looks really bad and yeah. redistributing him to get an extra premium feels genius. But then I also look at it and I'm just like, are we back to trying to play the game on hard mode by taking a three sample size game period and extrapolating it over the next 30? Thinking like, oh, he's bad. Like, he's not bad. <laughs> like, he's not bad. Yeah, it's just I mean, it's just like a fucking ridiculous thing. I don't know what to make of it. It's like, I mean... I think part of it is also just like you, like the reality of the Premier League, right? You have no time ever to train, especially yep. if you're in Champions League. You have one day a week max to train, and all you have time for is like, let's prepare for the next opponent. You can't like adapt. And what happened when they lost Kevin and Rodri at the same time is just all of their passing is out of the team. Their two best midfielders by a long, long fucking range, but also just the type of midfielders that they don't have to replace because like Kova's good. We like Kova. You know, Foden's good. We like him. You know, Savio's look good every game, but they're all Rico's good. They're all just like dribbly boys. And no one can pass. And like like you were saying, they just recycle possession, recycle. How many times, because I I went back and watched the second half, how many oh, times no. does they get it to Kovacic? 50. Who I, who I like. 50 times. And all he does is try and win a foul. Yeah. He just tries to like, up, oh, up, oh, trick, trick. You Hopeful Wolves kind of sticks his foot and win a foul. And then they get a free kick from 25 yards. Great. And fucking guess who's not scoring if all they get is corners in 25 yards is fucking Holland. So, yeah, like you said, obviously I agree. Pep's going to think of something because he's fucking great. But right now, it's just like fucking get out of here like get out of town um it's just hard yeah. to it's hard to imagine you know they're just gonna turn it turn it on out of nowhere and just like yeah. starts creating huge chances yeah. everywhere yeah i mean i think it's also i mean you know i didn't have holland for very long last year i was obviously did it very badly at the game as i usually do but well, i didn't have holland for a really long time and it really just felt like paddling upstream the whole time yeah because you know he, you know, we, we were accurately not captaining him in the away games and the non home bankers. And I mean, he did have that, that the away Wolves game actually, ironically, last year was when he had, you know, five returns. I think yeah, they had yeah. two pens and something. And like I was that, like, yeah. yeah, that was really fun for me not having him in that game. But, um, <laughs> like if you're looking at his run after the Southampton game this week, which, you know, I do want to actually talk about as like, is he the best captaincy option? But Looking past that, you know, they don't have a really good home banker against a bad team. I, I don't know if Everton is bad. I, I mean, they, they they tend to fall apart against the good teams, but I mean, that's game week 18. And, you know, that's yeah, like we're that's looking fine. at almost 20, we're almost like 2025. 20, I mean, their home games after Southampton are, are Spurs, NFO, Man United, Everton, you know, a lot of ways in there. Um, and then, you know, they have West Ham 20 at home and then, you know, some away. So, I don't know. I mean, it's like, I think you need to kind of commit and yeah. look and see, you know, am I happy to, you know, maybe captain this week against Southampton and then hold and not cap for a while unless if things change or get rid, you know, which I mean, either way, you can make very cogent arguments, I think, again, for, for, for other cases, yeah. right? And I'm very much leaning right now towards get rid. I mean, like yeah. you were saying, like, Everton, normally I'm like, oh, they'll score five. You know, Pep Dice, that's what happens every year. Imagine imagining them crossing 45 times against Everton. Just like, I can't watch that. <laughs> I yeah. can't captain a guy in that game because Tarko and Brands just heading balls out all day. Like, that's Dice's dream as you cross yeah. that. So I just I looked it up while you were talking. So, how many times has Man City under Pep crossed forty or more times? And it's twelve times. 
That's crazy. In like it should be like three, four hundred games or something. It, it, it should be less than that. I mean, that's very little. You know, like I, I don't, I haven't like looked specifically yeah. into these matches. Like maybe there's red cards or weird shit, but the results are horrendous when they do. I mean, they have two wins in these twelve games. So like yeah. some, it's almost a clearer indication that something is just very, very fucking broken if this ever happens. Yeah, and it's happened twice. You know, it just happened, and oh no, it didn't happen again this season. But like you know, the other games were just as. It bad feels like it's happening. It feels like it's happening all the yeah. time. So so you're you're more leaning towards getting rid after Southampton and just spreading yeah. it around more. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Which you know, obviously, I used two of my four frees. To get in Foden, and now I'm just like, I I do feel a little bit like ah God, I wish I just had my freeze because like yeah. I maybe would have kept Ollie, you know, like that's yeah. some you know like I yeah. I don't you don't need any money if you're ever getting rid yeah. of Holland, so yeah. but uh, you know yeah, I'll figure know. it out. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm leaning towards holding him. Um, okay, I just, just feel holding like and the, not capping. Yeah, holding and not because I feel like I can do. I feel like I can do that. Fine in a fine way and not like forsake too much, um, you know, just by spreading it around. Cause I think, you know, you have your, your two mids that you need or whoever to, to have the, like, whether it's Sun or Mo or, or yeah. Palm God or soccer or whatever, like, you know, I mean, it's not like we're, we're spreading this around from so many players and I just feel like it just changes so fast, right? Like we literally after the Arsenal game in game week five, we're like, all the the entire preseason, everything we learned from last year, we're sitting here and like never captain them in away games, only yeah. captain them in home bankers. Yep. And after five games of watching them destroy everyone and him do all the things all the time at Newcastle, home full on at Wolves, you know, two away games, two away and ways. one medium home game, and he just blanks them all. And now we're talking about getting rid of him. And I just like it's a I really good point. I can't fucking oscillate from extreme to extreme yeah, and think yeah, no, I'm it's a really getting good ahead. And I'm just like, I don't know. You know, he's good. Yeah. He'll win a pen periodically. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm right. Just like, I just he's, like, he's fucking, just like Bumo now. He, he's yeah, just, I'm just like, fucking yeah. forget him. Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe they play well against Bournemouth and Brighton. And I'm like, oh, game week 12 home Spurs. I'll just like, I'll just captain him because things him. change in yeah. three weeks or yeah, it's yeah, after yeah. the international break and he's fine. I don't fucking and maybe know. Maybe Foden will change things. You know, maybe, yeah, yeah. you know, because I can't imagine it's so Savio and Doku again. Like, that would. That no, would blow my it's mind. Yeah, it's yeah so it's, it's got to be like Jack and Foden and maybe, you know, another midfield try or something. I think that's a really good point because, like you said, and this was totally a preseason note of mine, is like when team when things aren't going well, you should expect the manager and players to make changes. And when things are going well, you should expect the opposite. So, you know, what are we doing? Yeah. From Southampton, though. I mean, so you're thinking not captain because... Ozzy said, what three city players should we have for their upcoming demolition to Southampton? And Ethical said, do we get Foden for Southampton? I mean, it's still the best fixture in the league. Home Ipswich isn't far away. <laughs> Ipswich have fallen off the fucking whatever they were on. They look no, really bad now. Yeah. No Greaves? Who plays them? Boomo? You're really gonna cap Bumo over Holland? I just said I'm they're the same player. It. I'm thinking about it. I mean, I I am actually thinking about it. That's and just, hopefully, that's Bumo changed. just put everyone off the scent because he was so bad at Man United. Yeah. Maybe I mean, people last don't have I, him. Yeah, last time I capped Bumo, I worked pretty fucking good. Home Southampton. I, just, I don't know. I mean, yeah. home Southampton for cities like you know, you expect them to just give them goals for fun, but also yeah. I'm just like, I don't. That's know. That's what they do. Either. Yeah, I, I think it's it's just it's a consideration. I think you still yeah. probably are supposed to captain Holland, but you know they play midweek. We'll see what happens. We'll we'll revisit it at the end of the week. But I also wanted to come back around on on City, the defense. I mean, dude, we got to talk about the defense. We have to talk about the defense. Like you know, look, Vard fucking bangs a off foot. <laughs> Top bins worldy, I which mean, is an actual laugh riot joke that that even happened. But it's a joke. But also, like, at what point are we like he's just a donger? Like, I 
him not scoring five plus goals a year at this point, I'm just like, no, he's gonna, yeah. yeah, no, that's fine. You know, that's fine. He scores he's the world, gonna, he'll score his few goals a year, but the defense is ridiculous. It's just so bad. I mean, yeah. they have one it's clean sheet this year through eight, and they've had many very easy, many easy games. Yeah. Yeah. It's the thing that's insane about watching them play is like they're like XG, whatever, isn't that high, but they're not letting up low XG chances in accumulation. It's like, it's not that high. And there there's like a few enormous chances yeah, that yeah, make yeah. the the low number overall. And I just feel like every time I watch them, it's like without Roger, like they just either the back line drops off or someone falls asleep or someone yeah. cuts in behind or, yeah. and it's just like, it's a matter of when it's like they let up between two and four absolute gigantic chances every single game and they're and, letting up the least amount of shots per game and the second highest quality chances per shot to, to switch yeah that doesn't work they're like, conceding just they're track. just getting fucking run right down the gut yep. by whoever the fastest player is on the other team doesn't matter yep. who tomato or adama or whoever the fuck Yep. And uh, yeah, it happens multiple times. It's yeah. so easy, I feel like, for these teams yeah. to play against them, which yeah, yeah without Roger, it's yeah, yeah, without Roger and like the and you know, not having Walker there for the recovery pace, which you know yeah. makes up for a lot. I yeah. mean, they have fucking Ruban still somehow the year 2024, he still fucking plays every game. He's can't move. And Stones and they, is still playing in the back yeah. line. Just yeah. fucking put him at play striker. Him at, God yeah, damn. Just play him up in the box. But like, <laughs> even if it's a kanji or stone, I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. There's just no pace in the back line. And, you know, Rico's just like a little small guy. And even when he, he has some pace, but he just got shrugged off the ball by any fucking yeah. player. So, yeah, I mean, they're, they're just a mess. And like, I, Guardiola, look, I got it. You know, we were talking about it a couple of weeks ago, the fixtures and, but, He's just not a good pick. Like I get yeah. the dong or whatever. Like I don't care. Yeah. Like the the way you watch his team and you're not spending six million on a, on a defender. Period. Nope. You're just going to be lucking into points if he keeps doing this. It's just there's no sustainability. And Rico, like we talk about, Rico's always oh, good compared to the other four or fives. Well, he's still taking up a spot on your team. Like yeah, he's still maybe, getting no points. And maybe he's not. Like he maybe not he's yeah. not. Yeah, because yeah. he yeah. just doesn't do anything like he doesn't and also shoot. like it's the same right it's it works the same as i just said with holland and it works negatively for the defense right if something is not working you should expect it to change so like yeah he started three in a row great they've been fucking awful in every game and conceded in every game and are and lucky he's been a big reason why and they're very lucky to have seven points very lucky mm -hmm. and he could get dropped. He probably will get dropped. Like he should uh, you get know, dropped. Like, He's Pep a is just waiting for Kyle or going to put a kanji back at right back or stones back at right back. He's going to yeah, try mean, he, stuff to yeah. fix it. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, it's just he's so lightweight. Like, I mean, I've been watching him very closely in the last handful of games and he just... He's annoying know, he's, to watch. He's, he's, he's yeah, he's really watch. hard to watch. I mean, he they, he changed his role in the second half. He was playing a lot more deep in the first half, but like he just he just goes into this little half space on the right mid right striker eight free eight side whatever. Yeah, he just doesn't do anything. He just stands there. He comes. Yeah. He shows for a ball. He makes a wall pass. He shows for a ball. He makes a wall pass. I mean, he'll, he maybe you know he'll make a couple of maybe four passes, but broadly speaking, he just doesn't shoot. He doesn't create anything. He just doesn't do anything. And, yeah. you know, I don't really care what his price is. I think he's just a bad pick and they're not keeping clean. So, yeah. you know, he's been really frustrating. And I think I'm, I'm like past my, my boiling point with him. I think after Southampton, um, I mean, if he starts midweek, I might get rid of him, but I'm, 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 I'm very concerned about him and, yeah. and very concerned about the defense at large. And especially because, you know, Rodri's Rodri didn't, you know, strain his hamstring. He's out for the year. Yeah, he's out for the season. So yeah. why are there why is there clean sheet or defense prospects going to improve? Well, I mean, they're not going to clean that goes back this to year, the but. that goes back to the pep thing, right? It's like clearly whatever they've done to address the Rodri Kevin double injury has not worked attacking or defending. Eventually they're going to put up some good performances, keep a string of cleans, win a bunch of games. I think they'll get it right. But until then, yeah, I mean, he's just a bad pick. Fard's a bad pick. Ederson's a bad pick. 
But do you think that that, that he's going to start dropping off and playing? Because to me, when I look at the squad and the players they have available, what they should be doing is playing deeper and conceding possession more and trying to get Holland in space and trying to break. That's They haven't played that way since Pep's been there. Like what's he gonna do? Like I, I yeah, I don't I don't really know what he's gonna do. I mean, yeah. make one of the midfielders stay deeper. Make Bilva be the deepest midfielder. He's done that before. I yeah. mean, relying on like Gundo and Kovacic like it's eight years ago, and they're gonna it's cover all this ridiculous. ground and win the ball. And do, yeah, it's just not realistic at all. Yeah. I think that like as much as he loves Gundo like a son, he's just gonna watch the tape of the games and just be like good God, you know, yeah. when this is not working at all. Yeah. Um, all right. Or I honestly, stones in midfield is like not. Yeah. I've been, impossible. I don't know. He, yeah. I, I don't know why he has something tried like that. that. Like, you know, he, he, could stones, yeah. he could do that. He could do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, City's a mess. City's a mess. Somehow they have all these. Points. How are you feeling with Rico? I mean, you have Rico as well. Yeah. I mean, he stinks. Drug. Um, most defenses stink. Yeah, I mean, we we did get questions on that. I mean, Jao Phoenix said, "Who are the best defenders?" Callie said, "I have Trent and Poro. Both seem like problems. What defenders are actually good right now?" Which you know is a we can go towards Liverpool. We can go towards Arsenal with the discussion. We can talk about Spurs, but like, which defense is actually good right now is a real question, and it's yeah. really hard to answer. I mean, listen, well, Liverpool, NFL, I mean, yeah, Liver- Liverpool's great. The yeah. hardest fixtures in the league. I think NFO also is very easy. You know, like Nuno team playing well. There's no reason to not trust them to just keep some cleans. They keep keeping cleans. Um, they're good, but there's very few teams. Very yeah. few teams that I really, really trust. I want to yeah. say that I do still trust Arsenal. I really do. These red yeah. cards are fucking dumb and Arteta... Teams for some reason get way more red cards than everyone else. But do you feel the same way, or are you like kind of wavering with your Arsenal guys? The missing personnel is starting to really compound for me. Like you know, I mean, Odegaard missing is something we almost have as like not even a. It's it happened so long ago that we don't even really realize it. But he is the most important player. Like he does everything for them, getting going forward space, pace, intelligence. Like he just does so much for them that every injury past him, I feel like it's like, it makes such a huge amount of difference. And um, like, they're just, players are just trying to do too much almost, right? Where, you know, everyone is trying to play like on extra, an extra gear. And then they look just wor- like an extra gear worse because of that almost. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, I mean, Saka misses a game and the defense has just been, I trust the defense from a, a systemic standpoint of like how he has them set up and the control he's trying to output influence. But do they, they like, I haven't played with the same back line, I think twice all year, almost, if you like, like they're, it seems they're like a, yeah, it's just, I mean, white's Ember's, back, which is nice, but yeah, yeah. but, but he, like now, like Gabrielle's played all the games, right? I mean, he started every game. Other it's, than that, it's like white timber, Saliba, Califiori, Zinchenko played like it just, yeah, I think it's Gabriel and Saliba have started every game. Obviously, Saliba just got the red. But yeah, yeah White just came back. Timber now is hurt. Calafiore started starting, but he's played, I think, both on the left and the right. Or has yeah. he just played on the left? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know exactly. But but yeah, but then it's it's that compounded with like, where's Rice playing? Where's Tom playing? Is, is George integrating playing? Integrating Marino. Like, yeah. yeah, Marino's new. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. And it's just all of a sudden, he played Kai in midfield a game or two here or there, right? And all of a sudden, it's just like all of the, it's just so many moving parts. And yeah. the thing that made them grind everyone else to dust last year to me was he played the same 11 all year. Mm-hmm. Like every game he had every, he has like 3000 minutes from like nine players or whatever. And yeah. everyone just did the same fucking thing and it was unstoppable. And now, yeah. you know, they have a fixture pile up and they have injuries and I, yeah, I mean, I'm not like that confident. I still, I still like them a lot, but you're also paying an absolute up the nose premium on them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Barrick said, do we sell our Arsenal defense, especially if we're doubled up? No cleans in the last three. Pretty disappointing. Next three don't inspire much confidence. 
And Jeff said, if you have double Arsenal D and are sick of it, do you dump Raya for Pickford or Gabrielle for Lewis? Well, forget about fucking Lewis. We we talked yeah. about him, but but I, I just feel like that's also insane. Like to to get rid, I'm, it just feels I'm, crazy to me, right? Yeah, I'm I'm right there with you. It's yeah. it's it is crazy. And these red cards, I mean someone posted in our Discord, like they have way more red cards than any other team since Arteta got there. So, like, I don't know, whatever he's injecting them with before the game, it's too much. He needs to dial it back, the aggression and the stupidity. But they're not going to keep getting reds. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's literally not possible. And they do still have cleans. Um, well, I mean, it's also like the Southampton Leicester concessions are nonsense, right? I mean, they nonsense. were they were not both. All three of those goals were absolute ridiculous banana land nonsense goals so you know they were in complete control there and if they kept one clean in those two games let's not even say both right you're sitting here and you're saying like oh yeah they're just you know they have four cleans and eight and yeah you know but it's just you know that recency bias with three red cards you know like four cleans and eight with three red cards yeah Yeah. like and you know look they do have tough fixtures upcoming they have liverpool newcastle chelsea Pressure makes diamonds. Like they are yep. good at cleaning tough games because they have to be on it and they're not complacent. And you know, Gabrielle's yeah. fucking sticking his finger up the enemy's bum holes, right? You and have to. You have to. So <laughs> I don't care that much about that. I just feel like if you have them, you hold them. And if you're looking to make money, I guess. But also, it's just like, but like for who? Like why, I, I, I would like know? to see that team. But I think it yeah. all goes back to the overall belief that both of us have which is just like i don't want to touch my keeper i don't even want to touch my defenders there's too many high upside premium attackers who are fucking amazing getting quadruple returns and like that's where i want to use my transfers my biggest problem is never gabrielle or raya you know like they're just gonna get cleans and get points like don't fucking care yeah Um, but I, i i do think liverpool Maybe are, are are leapfrogging them for for best defense in the league. Honestly, after watching the Chelsea game, yeah, I mean they're the Chelsea game. If anything, like confirmed that we should believe in the defense because yeah. like they just are like you can have the ball as much as you fucking want. We're not gonna we're not, ev- yeah. we're not gonna get baited by this press ever, yeah. and we're, we're not, not coming out. ever. Yeah. We're not doing anything risky. We're just gonna stay in shape, and you're gonna do nothing. And they basically, basically can see the happened. one Nico chance and he does a good yeah, finish. And then cannot like, day, yeah, the, the, you could look at that and, and interpret it any way you want. Second, second clean sheet cannot day has given up of the season, but they're great. Yeah. If you concede one chance, that's good. Yeah. Um, we'll get to Liverpool for the, the other two Arsenal questions. I mean, Viking said, Kai, do we sell or hold? Arsenal playing a lot with 10 men. Fixture's about to get tough. Well, who are the good replacements? And then Golf said, does Arsenal have a stench? Who's stenching? It's not stench no, levels. No, no, Come no. on. No, Come on. We, gotta, we gotta relax with that. They're still um, maybe best team in league. <laughs> like, they're still so good. But yeah, it's just been a fucked up start to the season. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, where what are you feeling about with Kai? He's 8-3 right now. Um, he has four goals, one assist through eight. Where, where are you at? Yeah, I think it's a I think it's a transfer out. I mean, I don't think it's a fucking emergency. You're insane if you transfer him out. He's a really good player. He's going to get returns, but do I want him in home Liverpool at Newcastle at Chelsea home NFO? Like the answer is no. I don't want him at all in those. Um especially if Saka's out. We know Odegaard's still out, but it's Saka, to me Saka's by far the most important player. And if he's out, they just have fucking nothing. I mean, relying on like Trossard to make the killer pass and Marino to do stuff in the box and like get out of here. Um, yeah, Martinelli. Yeah, Martinelli. Fuck off. Yeah. Um, well, so, they play midweek, so we'll have a better idea. We'll have a better idea yeah. after Champions League. But yeah, but for me, so for me, it's a transfer out. I mean, yeah. Game week thirteen. Talk to me about Kai. Talk to me about Saka. You know, we. I'll, I'll be interested again. You know, I'll be back. But that's. Exactly what I was just trying to say about the defenders is like, I want to use my transfers here because I see I could move to someone, get more points, more goals, or double change and make him at a premium mid, maybe a captaincy option if we're not captaining Holland, etc. Yeah. So yep. that's where I want to go. Um, yeah, fair. Yeah. As for which forwards, I mean, Chris Wood. 
Is, isn't it so obvious? Oh, God. It just is. It's just so ridiculously obvious. For, for the next four, if you don't include, you know, game week 12 when, when they play City, I mean, I mean, when they play Arsenal, I mean, you just. You start him in the in game week 9, 10, 11, 13 with a lot of confidence. I mean, he could have braced today easily. He has pens. I mean, he's fucking great. I don't know what to say. Yeah. 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 I mean, it does feel very much overthinking to not have what at this point is insane. Yeah. Is it? I mean, if you told me this two years ago, like you're going to be doing this podcast in two years, and it's going to be like December, November, and you're going to be saying Chris Wood is one say, of the most obvious forward yeah. picks in the game. I'd be like, you're fucking transfer fuck, your arsenal you're forward like to you're Chris not, Wood. Yeah, you're insane. But yeah, it's close. I mean, I all of a sudden there are just like the forwards. There are all these budget forward options putting their their hats in the rank, and they're, then that's Wissa, it. Like, yeah, with a Strand, Cunha, like Jim, yeah. Jim, I yeah, I forgot about Jim. Yeah, we got yeah. questions about these guys too. I mean, I mean, basically all of the above. I mean, would you rather buy Dom or Jim or Wood? Uh, thoughts on your cheap forward? Shan Larson versus Jim versus Wissa. I mean, do you have big preferences on these? Because Jim also, his form is just unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a little bit of a weird one where he got the you know goal kick yeah, assisted but, goal, and you know he, yeah. he had another little half chance here or there. But um, I mean, I think Wiss is the best of the of the bunch, honestly. I mean, just looking at the fixtures and looking at you know the player home Ipswich at Fulham, home Bournemouth at Everton, home Leicester. I, I mean, easily the best fixtures of all yeah. of the the yeah. aforementioned it's guys. It's pretty yeah. good. He's five yeah. nine, and you know he's done it before, and. You know, I, I I think that the player is good. Um, you know, Brent Hammer a little bit mixed bag, and you know, but they, they're getting they're getting fitter, and you know the NPCs are NPCing. So I like Wissa the most. Um, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I mean, I I think Strand is probably second because his fixture runs just longer. I mean, basically, my thing with Wood that I'm a little bit uh, uncertain of how to handle is like you want to transfer him out. Yeah, you're going to want to transfer him out soon because the run gets really bad really fast. So, like, if you don't already own him, are you buying him over these other players? I'm just not. Yeah, um, because, like again, Leicester, it's, it's similar to a defender, right? You don't want to use your transfers on this spot. Right, right. It's yeah. at Leicester, home Western, home Newcastle, at Arsenal, home Ipswich. Then it gets really bad at City, at United, home Villa, at Brenham, Spurs, Everton, Wol- you know, Liverpool. So, um so, you know, really after the next, I mean, you're looking at the next five and, you know, you probably have two and a half good ones. Arsenal's really bad. And then, you know, one, they're, they're going to lay an egg in one or two of them. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like he's, he's all of a sudden like just going lower and lowering on the, yeah, on the power yeah. rankings for me. That's fair. Yeah. It? I mean, as his run declines, it's like, yeah, the, the length of his run, it, you know, Impacts the quality of the pick a lot, I think. Um, yeah, I really rate Tran Larson. Um, just like pure eye test, I just think he does a lot of really good stuff. And I honestly don't think Wolves are that bad. I know that they have no wins, bottom of the table, all the shit. And, you know, they have the hardest ever imaginable schedule so far. Yeah, And I just think they're very i'm not saying they're good but i just think they're like okay like they're whatever they have some guys they can move the ball into the final third they can cross the ball and i just think you know he just played against literally every best team in the league like the the top five at least and you know he doesn't have to play against them anymore yeah yeah i mean he also is for his one and two He's yeah, looking one and two. Yeah, yeah. So I think he's great. He's the cheapest of this group, I think now. Yeah, he's five five. Yeah, long term hold, like you said. I mean, you don't want to use a transfer on the spot, and you will not use a transfer on this spot until you know maybe game week nineteen or something like that with Trent Larson. So yeah, that's as good as you can get, I think. Yeah. Um. Even though he doesn't have pens, you know, still, still good. And which Wood does have, you know, I mean, it's because it's has. interesting. Wood and DCL like looking, have that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, DCL is something else. But <laughs> I mean, that's also like looking at Wood and Wissa because they kind of have like a similar convergence of like they have the next few good fixtures and then it gets bad. And 
like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Wissa not having pens versus what having pens, it's, it does make a big difference. And then it's, it's almost it like, are you going to just, are you resigned to make a transfer in, in December on the player or, or not? Or is this a rotation? And, you know, you kind of have to look at your team and think about like, how am I seeing the season? How am I going to yeah, play? Like, the how, how am I, when's the, ne- I think what you have to do planning wise is like, when is the next time I want to rotate out my premiums? Like, yeah. when is the next triple three transfer week? Because right. that, very much impacts if you want someone who's good for four game weeks or if you want someone who's good for 11 game weeks. Right. 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 Totally. Like I'm on three freeze now. I'm sure I'm going to use at least two this week. I think, you know, assuming like Sokka's hurt, I'll probably get rid of Kai. I'll move to a premium mid, whatever. But I'm going to want those Arsenal guys back. I think, you know, game week 13 ish or something like that. 13, 14, just for, you know, a pretty long, good run of yeah. hold. And I still like them both a lot. So I can't think of it as like, oh, I'll just get wood and then I'll move him to fucking Strand Larson and then I'll move him to blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, I the, I already booked all these transfers. <laughs> like I'm yeah. getting the Arsenal guys. I don't, I have no freeze is like how I should yeah, really yeah. be looking yeah. at it. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, Cunha is also there. He's 6'5. Like, he's, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's who we presumably believe to be on pens for Wolves. Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. As but I mean, Sarabia doesn't play anymore. He doesn't play though. anymore. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, he's also a pick there, right? But yeah. Yeah. I guess it's also just like, where is the meta moving? Like, do we want to have, I mean, we haven't mentioned Solanke, 7'7. Seven, seven, yeah. But, you know, I mean, no, Spurs should we talk about else. him and Spurs or? Yeah. But or just, just, just a note on this, like, how many. It seems like everyone should have at least one cheap forward. Like, but should it be two? Yeah, like what's right, right, the right. correct? Or should it be three, five, two, or something like that? Is yeah, is that the yeah. best now? Five mids, maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, because it also in the back of my mind, like watching Isak, I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna want to get him soon. <laughs> he should have braced. He should have braced. Yeah, yeah, he should have yeah. braced. And I was, you know, yeah. this is they play Chelsea and Arsenal, and then NFO away, which is an, we we thought would be good, but is not. It's and not then they good. have a pretty good run forever. So I'm just like also looking at that, like, well, every he was in sixty percent of teams in game. This is the and, guy, dude. Didn't I say yeah. this is the fucking? We learned yeah. our lesson with Rich last year, and we're gonna yeah. forget about him, guy. Yeah, and he's gonna like. They don't have a slam dunk run of fixtures at any point, really. Yeah, they have like just enough to splice it up to make it look not so good. But like he goes back to one of those where he plays once a week. I don't know if Calm's going to be back at some point and, you know, maybe he's in a point not. wing and then, yeah, I mean, who knows, but like he's playing once a week and as pens and they're looking competent again and everyone's getting fit again. So like, he's also someone like, well, I kind of want to get him soon. And like, if I yeah. go down to all these 6 million forwards, like what am I doing? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, and also uh, like if yeah. Isak is who everyone thought he was at the beginning of this season, everyone knows he was at the end of last season. I don't give a shit if they have two hard fixtures in 10 yeah. or whatever. You There's know, like he, he and, can score in fucking any yeah, way. Yeah, he was unreal sure. last year. So, you know, it doesn't even matter. I like that shot a lot. Yeah. I mean, starting in 12, it's an incredible run. Incredible run. I mean, basically, it's just their only Liverpool. definitely hard one is home Liverpool. And yeah. even, even that, at least it's at home. Yeah, the rest are good till fucking March, February, whatever. Really good. So yeah. I, I love that show. I love that show. And they honestly played really well against Brighton. Yeah, yeah, they should have won the game for sure. Yeah. 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 Um, do you have Spurs stuff? Because you watch that match. I'm only living on highlights, but I mean, to get four goals with no BJ involvement, no Dom involvement. You know, the, yeah. the fucking fluky own goal assist, then assist taken away. I mean, weird, weird goals and weird game. Yes, it was a weird game, weird goals. Um, it's just so much more down to Western being so diabolical to me than, than Spurs yeah. being actually really good. But, you know, I mean, Spurs probably, you know, they, they could have scored six. Yeah, you know, would have yeah. been, would have been fair. And, chance that he hit off the yeah. inside of the post. Yeah, yeah I mean, and BJ, BJ chances. chances. I mean, yeah, and they they let the foot off the gas for the last half hour. Like they stopped kind of stopped playing, but um, 
you know, he's subbing Matto early. It was a very interesting one there, subbing him at half. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just, you know, they just attack so much, right? They just relentlessly attack, and they, they barely play any defenders, and the defenders that they do play are all, all really fast and play at the halfway line. So <laughs> Udogs get, is in the box the whole yeah, highlight. Yeah, the, whole, the, all, the whole, the whole yeah, highlights, yeah. he was in the box. Yeah, and Pohar shooting from distance. Like, it was either one or the, yeah, the other doing yeah. that. So, um yeah, I mean, Sun was like also just very pedestrian to me, like as as I I used to seeing him be, um, where it was just you know against a good defense he just blanked easily, comfortably blanked, um, you know. And against West Ham, it's just like he looks like a, a world beater, where you know his shots that we've been watching him just get blocked all season are just like going through or or yeah. whatever. And Ariola had see, a really bad game. Yeah, Ariola is he's fucking he's just passing to the other team, but yeah. You're just looking at their their fixture run in the Thursday games. It's just it's really hard to to ascertain. Like, is this is this a buy? Is this a is a sell? Like, he's nine nine now. He just went up today. But you know, they play home. It's but Ipswich in eleven, which we've been talking about, is like a really good captaincy uh, a game. But other than that, it's just like you know, it's like some good, some bad. If he's playing on Thursday and they're playing on Sunday, it's like you know, it's not great. You know, you're stacking him up against you know the, all of the other players. You know, Saka. Palmer, Ali, you know, Foden, Foden, Holland, you know, I mean, you, you can only have so many of these players. So presumably as pens, I mean, do, do, do they ever win pens? The answer is no. So there's a player that's on pens that doesn't win pens on pens. I don't know. It's like tree falling in the <laughs> tree falling in the woods. If no one's around to hear it, but I don't know. I'm just still very lukewarm. I don't know. It's, it's, it's very bizarre. Like I just feel very lukewarm. I'm less lukewarm. Again, I'm only on highlights, didn't watch the full game, but I do think that like a lot of the West Ham looking diabolical is what Spurs do. Like that's what their thing is. Press you, win the ball in the third, you know, make two passes, get a shot off, yeah. whatever. I mean, they've been scoring a lot of goals lately. Yeah, a lot of goals. Yeah. And I think that like like Foden didn't even fucking start. So I don't, you know, like, where, what are we even talking about when we're saying like, oh, Foden versus Palmer versus Sun? It's like, he doesn't even fucking start and he got a lucky assist at the, in the 95th minute. So I don't even know if he should be in the convo. But to me, the question is like, Palmer in Newcastle, Man United, Arsenal, or Sun in Palace, who are a bottom three or four team right now, home, Villa, Ipswich. And to me, that answer is Sun. Yeah, it's fair. Because, I mean, I don't know what to make fully out of, you know, the Liverpool-Chelsea game was a complicated game, but what Liverpool did to Palmer was just like, hey, guys, here's the blueprint. I mean, if Curtis Jones can just completely mark him out of the game and score a goal and get an assist by just like... Yeah, I mean, Curtis just fucking humiliated him, I feel like. He just wasn't so in the game at all. Palmer also could have easily scored a goal. Like he had a really good no, he had that one good chance. Like that yeah, was the, the best one chance good the chance that, that was blocked. Up. Yeah, and yeah, I mean he he did nothing otherwise, and it was just kind of like, okay, yeah. New Newcastle can do that. You know, can Manchester United do that? Like probably not actually. <laughs> like they're just bad, but and they have no midfielders that can can run around that much. But Arsenal and Newcastle can surely do that. Like uh, I don't know, I'm just. I, I kind yeah. of want to wait for 12 for Palmer is kind of what I'm getting at here, where he will just bully these bad teams and he will get more space and time on the ball. And we, he will get another quad return or whatever the fuck he's up to, you know? And yeah. I, I look at these harder games a bit differently after that Liverpool game. Yeah. yeah so fair. son. Yeah. Son's a pick. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Son, he's definitely a pick. I mean, you still just can back backdoor into the he has pens. You know, so you have that going for you. Yeah, pens, a lot of attacking, a lot of shooting. Yeah. Sure. You know, sure. you're just trying to find your braces. And I think he has a better chance of braces in the next run. I mean, that a yeah. lot of people asked about Son, Foden, Palmer, Saka, etc. I mean, Jeff D, do we prioritize Palmer or Mo or Sun to replace Saka? Yeah, I haven't even talked about Mo. Um, Slim said, I want to ask you guys, do you think it's Mo to Palmer still? That's still a move to make, no question, right? Um, I don't know. What, what do you think between all these premium mids? Like, who? What do you think is the priority? What's your priority? 
I think the priority is the fixtures. <laughs> like, yeah. It's just, it's all so much of a muchness. Like, you look at Mo, it's like, if he didn't take a pen, he just didn't do anything. Like, he created well, like he created two and a half chances. Yeah. No, but I mean, the, but like, yo, you create two and a half chances, like, okay, whatever. You know, maybe you'll get a six pointer. You're not looking at, you know, the doors are being blown down. No, like, brace, oh my God. Brace, so, no. He, I don't even, did he even have a fucking shot? Yeah, like, like, other than that, like, Two I mean, shots, he, maybe, yeah, would be I mean, my guess. Open play, he had, yeah, he just didn't do I'll anything look, besides yeah. the pen, really. But um, so you know, the pen is papering over a lot of cracks. I think with the mo, the mo argument, and, and it's similarly with Sun. Like if he got the fake assist, and you're looking at this like huge double digit haul, where it's like, <laughs> yeah, no. you know, whatever you you make you make. He it also had it, that that humongous chance that he almost he finishes nine times out of ten that hit like the inside of the post and bounced yeah, across true. the goal that's line. It's like, oh yeah. my god, yeah, that's true, yeah. that's true. But you know, I mean, I think it's more like you just want to play the medium, the the like next four to seven game week fixture run of I'm going to hold this premium for this period of time. And then I'm going to get this other premium in this spot in yeah. this period of time. Yeah. Because you you know you can do as much analysis as you want of like which premium player gets point. Like Saka is so good in hard fixtures. It's like, I don't care. You know, I still want him for the fucking easy ass fuck yeah. bad fixtures. 100%. And I, I'd rather have like Sun in home bankers than Sala who performs well in hard fixtures for a hard fixture run. You yeah. know, so it's like, every time. Yeah. And I mean, like, that's where I feel like you want to try and angle yourself towards so that so, you have the rest. So the answer is Sun and Foden, right? Well, Foden, I think, is a little bit stickier. Foden because, is what the fuck. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know if he's starting. He has no avenues except for. And we don't know if City are good. <laughs> we don't know if they're good. So that that's messier. But, um, I think it's probably, yeah. I mean, I think it's just it's just messy. Like I think we all have Holland. I think it's certainly Sun with the fixtures in the in the near horizon. Yeah, the near term, and then it's yeah. probably like you know Palmer, Palmer in twelve. Yeah, or maybe Saka later, or maybe Palmer now, like Watkins. I don't know. Yeah, it's. I mean, you're gonna have to take a couple of bad fixtures on the chin here because but if it's, you're it's, looking it's at just perfect. short term, like next three, it's Sun and there's no one close. For me, yeah, like I between agree. of all the premiums, like you know, between Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, Villa, like it's Sun, yeah. And after home that, Villa, I think it dovetails nicely with Palmer, and that's like immediately where I'll go in twelve. No non-negotiable. Sun could score fucking five hundred goals the next three matches, and I'll still make the transfer. Yeah, I mean, I I think it it's team dependent too there because you know he loves playing at City and I think that's a really good Sun fixture and then home Fulham at Bournemouth like I think you could hold him past that. Um, I do. Yeah, I mean, I, I am think, sitting here with Foden in my team saying I'll transfer him yeah, out. Like maybe yeah, I mean, if Foden's a Foden, nightmare. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Foden's probably going to always be a worse pick than Sun unless if he's playing you know Southampton, Ipswich, like in pretty two much. Or three. But uh, but I I think it's also you know you look at your your team structure and figure out like what am I doing. With my team structure, how many how many premium mids, you know, Holland and no premium forwards, or yeah, you know, I'm gonna have Watkins or Kai or whatever, and yeah, you know, going from there and, and figuring out like where am I sending my transfers? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, we got some Liverpool questions, but mainly just about the defense. I mean, Capfink said if you have both, which you do, uh, would you drop Trent or Rabo? I know Trent's better, but is he worth one million more? Jitterbug is Trent to Gvard worth using a transfer on when City can't clean to save their lives? And then Sammy also thoughts on selling Trent. Obvious cash cow when looking at a premium midfield and pool of really tough run in the next few weeks with their Champions League games. Blah blah blah. Um, I think I know what you're going to say, but what what do you think about that? I mean, I want to add a third Liverpool defender. I want to get Kanate for my Lewis spot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Honestly, like I, I do. Know. I, I, I know. just do. I mean, look, one one negative for Rabo and Trent this weekend were, I mean, they just played fullback. They were they not couldn't get playing. Forward. Yeah, they were not playing attack, attacking positions at all. Rabo had maybe like a small dalliance in the second half towards the the end of the game where he was getting forward a couple of overlapping But runs he was and, also getting fucking rinsed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, which yeah. isn't nice. I mean, he was, yeah. he was all hands on deck trying to defend and he had help yeah. and all that. But yeah. Um, but I just still just going back to what we were talking about earlier is like, 
they played Chelsea, who is, you know, fourth best team top, in the league. F- yeah, top four or f- other than Liverpool, a top three attack in the league. Yeah, and they held them to nothing. One chance. So yeah, I, so I mean, I look at like look, yes, they're playing Arsenal in a game that I think could just be non a non game, and the, the just the amount of control that he's trying to influence on the games. I just like, yeah, you know that this team i don't really care about the fixtures i just feel like i want as many defenders as i can get on this I'm team and... and i like it so you know so i mean my my near term is like i really want to make lewis Kanate, and i want to hold rabo as as little attacking threat as he has like making that transfer to white or or saliba just feels like a fucking Waste of time because waste I think that they're free. very yeah. waste of a free. They're very similar, and yeah, I mean, Trent's still taking fucking Trent Rob was still taking. They had no corners this game somehow. I don't know. That was a very weird thing. They've actually um, been getting very few corners. On yeah, the I season. feel like it's like a directive. They don't go to the byline. They don't put crosses. In the they don't. They corners. do the opposite of what Savio and Doku, yeah, and Doku do. do. Yeah, they just recycle. They don't. They don't yeah. even try to get the corner. Yeah. Um, I wonder if that's also because it's like they think that they're gonna. They're more likely to concede off a corner than score off yeah. a corner or something. Yeah, I could but, see that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Liverpool defense, I just, I'm so hard on that. Like, I just yeah. feel like that's like the biggest, like, that's like to me, like my biggest edge play is just like, I want Liverpool defense yeah. as much as possible. I'm very there. I mean, to me, Trent is just still the best defender in the game. Even with this insane run, I'm still just like, man, that. That Chelsea game was everything for me because we had not yeah. played a single good team in Europe or the league. And then to do that, I was just like, oh, yeah, like I, I believe now. And like yeah. Sammy mentioned in, in his thing, you know, obviously they have Arsenal this week. They have City in 13. They have a bunch of tough ones in between. But like home Brighton, home Villa at Southampton. like Queens. Those are fucking, all Queens. Those are just control the game, yeah. shut them down yeah, yeah, type yeah. of game. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go to some questions. Um, and you know how I feel about a triple up on a defense. Hello. I mean, <laughs> that just means it's a field, baby. Like, it feels back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And then your mood, a hundred depend, a hundred percent depends on if that, that team cleans or doesn't clean. So it's all, that's it's fun. Chill. That's fun, it's too. Chill. Yeah, it's, it's chill. It's fucking It's good chill. vibes. It's good vibes. Yeah. Um, Lauren said, interesting one. He said, what are your thoughts on a free hit game week nine for teams like mine who don't have Holland or Palmer? Sort of like Alon's free hit two plan that never was. We know chips are less valuable this season. I have three Arsenal and two Liverpool playing each other as well. Interesting, right? I mean, it's not insane to me. Palmer, Palmer is not part of the equation for me. I really do think that like Newcastle play up to their opponent. I mean, they played so well against City. Joe Linton, Bruno, Tenali are going to be up Palmer's ass all fucking game. Like, yeah, whatever. It's like, uh, it, I think the, with Palmer, similar to all the other premiums, like a return is what you should expect. But is it a cr- like a cricket score? Like, is that something that can happen? And if the answer is no, then you're fine to not have that player. Yeah, right? exactly. But looking at, I mean, dodging Arsenal versus Liverpool and Liverpool versus Arsenal and like getting on, jumping on a bunch of City, not having Holland this week feels scary. Even if with all the negative shit we just said about Holland, I mean, you know, Rammers could just give him a hat trick. Bednarik can just I give mean, him yeah, a hat trick. Southampton players will create the chances for it's Holland. It wild. doesn't matter. Like yeah. they're, we know what Russell Martin, Rusty Russell Martin's going to do and he's going to all out attack and try and possess and be the better team and it's going to be a joke. I don't love it, I, but I also don't hate it. You hate it? Yeah, I think I hate it. Okay. I think that you're going to be better placed to use it later when there are blanks, like even if it's not these expensive if there are blanks, blanks like used to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just or doubles just feels, or something. Yeah. Yeah, it just it just feels a little short. So, but I think the other thing too is, you know, he's talking about like my Liverpool and um it's going to be a nil-nil, nil, right? Yeah, right. Like he's not talking Start your about defenders. Which, yeah, he's not talking about which players he has or how many frees he has, but you know, it's going to be a stodgy affair. So, I mean, if you have like Kai, Mo, and Saka, then, <sighs> that's okay, problematic. Maybe, 
Yeah, maybe we can talk about it a little bit more, but well, you know, like that's where you ju- like, you just use your freeze there. I mean, yeah, we, we wanted maybe the freeze, you don't want the mine free. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, you don't want soccer with our stone players anyway. They have like bad, feet, you know. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Big Daddy said, "What do you guys see with Garnacho?" Very oh happy God. asked this question because okay, you you go on. I I missed this game, so I've you, been you talk. yeah, I watched this game. I've been yeah. very very high on Garnacho. I didn't hire the most United fans, I think, honestly, for like oh, over wow. a year now. He under the radar. Liam pointed out to me has just started and played ninety for four straight games. Which was like really the only question mark for him. I was like, is if he's starting, he's a fucking incredible pick. He takes fifty shots a game. He's an absolute genius little demon. I mean, he's taken the lead last season. He's a fucking star. I want him in my team immediately. They have great fixtures, you know, except for Chelsea and ten. He's fucking cheap, way underpriced, and really great. I think everyone should get him. That's about that. All right. Over All right. BJ. Yeah, fuck B- BJ, man. Maybe both, but Garnacho <laughs> first. Make sure in right. order of your clicking the buttons, you bring in Garnacho first. If you're bringing six, both. Two. Six, six two. two. Yeah, six two. I just I, I just don't know where you fit him in. Like who are you forsaking for him? I mean Rogers, Semenyo. He's better than both of them. A lot better. Semenyo? A lot better. What? Cement is good. He doesn't take Orange eight shots. Great. He doesn't take eight shots a game. Not yet. And he's at Villa Home City. I mean, I don't know. Mishka, do you oh. believe in regression to the mean, or is that an FPL fallacy? Is Holland destined to triple return next, and Spurs will lose to Palace with an Eze brace and a pen? Talk to me about regressing to the mean. Well, talk to me about the concept of believing in it or not. Like, it's a fucking religion. <laughs> well, isn't it just a, a statistical... Yeah, it's just how statistics work. I yeah. think the confusing part, maybe, for Mish is what it actually means, which is like... Uh, me too, so can you teach oh, me? Oh, yeah. Well, because I think we always joke, right? Like, oh, VV do, like, blah, 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 blanked three in a row. They're due to score. That's not how it works. Um, you know, if Holland were to blank 10 game weeks in a row, we would not expect him to score. Oh, he's going to score six in one of these games to balance it out. What it means is that he'll go back to their normal average rate of scoring, aka the mean, and therefore it will like a curve back to over time, it will curve back to where we expected them to be in the first place. It doesn't mean they're just going to make up for everything. Oh, he Holland blanked three in a row. He's scoring seven this week at Southampton. So that it averages out to like, oh, he shouldn't have blanked three in a row. That's not what it means. But yeah, I mean, that that's basically what it means. It's just like you should expect them to do put up their mean performances, whether they're hot. You should expect mean performance, whether they're cold. You should expect a mean performance over time. That's all it means. Cool. Cool. Hardly boys. So I just put up a week where I had zero returns. As in not even a midfield or clean sheet point. I should just quit, right? Yeah. Probably. Not even a midfield or clean. <laughs> Couldn't any find a four-pointer. Any, any forward clean banks? That was nice when Wood would banked the clean today. I like yeah, those, yeah, yeah. like those shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I can skip some of these. Cutler, do you want to discuss Everton defense? If we have pickwards, should we be doubling up? Are we in the middle of their run of queens that gets them out of trouble? They were, they never, were never in, in trouble. Never in trouble. Yeah. They're great. They're great. I don't know what to say. Great team yeah. for cleans. Good run of fixtures. Get them out in game week 15. They have, <laughs> wow, game week 15. I've never seen anything like this. They play the four best in. teams in the league in a row. Home Liverpool. Happy Christmas. At Happy Arsenal. Christmas. Home Chelsea at Man City. What? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. Love it. But yeah, they're great. I don't know what to say. Doesn't matter if you have Pickford or don't have Pickford. You should get a defender. Um, Speaking of defenders, X50 said Brentford haven't kept it clean all season, but they have a good run coming up and Pinnock and Collins are donging their lives away. Is there a defender pick here or are there other cheap defenders you like more? I mean, it's so bad. Yeah, they're just bad. Like they're a bad team. 
you know, they, they attack a bit and they're, but the spacing is just, every game is just very schizophrenic. So, you know, looking at the four or five plays, I, I just, I just, I, I guess I, I'm not sure, you know, what are you doing with your defense? Like are, are people actually rotating four or five defenders with f- fixture plays? Like I, I, I don't, don't think get they're that. really rotating, but I do think that a lot of people have like premium, premium, and then one, four, five. Yeah, who they're just I, like starting I, yeah. every week for ten game weeks or something yeah. like that. I just think that that's misguided. Like, I mean, to me, it's like I want to have three defenders that are on good teams. Like, I just I feel like that's the be- a better way to play this year. Um, it's just more predictable. I mean, City being a good team is very subjective, but <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like you're just gonna go a lot farther by spending an extra point five or million on that spot not having to worry about you know collins or you know yeah. newcastle like rotation fuck and then someone gets hurt and you have to spend another transfer there it's it's just a mess like i think you just get three start every week is, is kind of where i'm at uh, this year one one little study that someone should do not me is like what percentage of a defender's points come from cleans versus attacking returns yeah Versus bonus like points, yeah. bonus points and integrity. Because it's probably, probably, a, probably fucking a very high percent. Very, very yeah. high percent. Or like 85% or something. So the idea of getting a defender who you don't expect cleans from despite a good run is just ridiculous. I mean, it's not great. they need to be fucking Ivanovic, like eight goal, uh, Marcus A, eight goals, six assist levels to even consider them. And if you're looking at like, oh, maybe Pinnock will get me a fucking goal in the next eight game weeks while they keep maybe like one clean. It's like that's nowhere near good enough. It's not even in the vicinity of good enough. You need cleans. That's my rant cleans. on that. You need cleans. You need cleans. Last question was Giannis. He said for non-Holland owners, which captain is best? Bumo, Palmer, or a rogue Foden? Bumo. Yeah, it's got to be Boomer. It's got to be Boomer. Yeah. I think Palmer's fine. Fine cap. Um, there's not going to be any leaks because there's a Friday game, so you can't go up Foden. You just can't do that to yourself. I think Palmer's fine, but I would go Boomer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it. Like the shout. Like it, like it, like it. Okay, cool. Dude, yeah, we're back. FPL's back. Anything else you want to talk about? Well, I guess Villa we didn't talk about for one oh, second. yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, I only, you watched very, this game. I watched highlights. Yeah. yeah, it was a very strange game, very open game. Um, it's it's it just makes me so confused about Ollie of like what to do with him. Or I know that he header was an asset. unreal header. Yeah, the header was unreal, and you know he had another chance or two uh, that he didn't finish an open play. Yeah, he had but, a one one on one. Yeah, yeah, but like they play midweek, obviously, and it's hard to know what Evan like. He subbed him early because he wants to, you know, not vlog. He, he played seventy five, whatever. He wants to play him in Europe, but yeah, they have Bournemouth at home on the weekend, and it's going to be their third game in the week. And they have Spurs, Liverpool, Palace, Chelsea. Like, I don't. Know, I know you just got red, and, and I'm sure a lot of it was because of the the run, and you didn't Bad think that home looked good for him. But yeah, what do you what do you see with Ollie? Yeah, I'm just. It's really hard when a manager gives us different things all the time. When like he's so one week he's like, "We're not even going to attempt to attack Manchester United. We're just going to sit on a nil nil," and I'm very happy with that. And the next week in, against Fulham, he's like, "I want to play a transitional up and down, open space game the whole game." And like Ali could have triple returned. Um, and so getting those sort of like inconsistent data points is is hard for me, I think, to navigate. But that said, I mean, Spurs, Liverpool, Chelsea coming up, like I'm pretty sure I know how he's going to play those. And they're all away. Like he's he's playing for a nil nil in those. Um, and yeah, Ollie's going to start all of them and Ollie's still great and Ollie might be on pens. But I just think for nine million, you're not getting like the bang for your buck there. Um, at least in the short term, like I would just rather that be Son and then Palmer or just Palmer straight up or yeah, yeah, but it's certainly not a problem. Short end of the stick, 
Certainly not a problem. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they could they could score three against Bournemouth. No problem. Happens all well, the yeah, time. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the home Bournemouth is the one that's it's like... Good. Yeah, I mean, that's where I was like, okay, I want to just kind of try and see if I can hold on here. Yeah, yeah, it's just but a I, good fixture for a good team. But, yeah, but that's the other thing, too, where I'm like, well, Bournemouth got to just train and fucking chill all week, and they have to play midweek and then play again. It's like, after yeah. they already played international, it's almost like, yeah. oh, my God, like... yeah. You know, are they are they gonna come out and just get fucking flat look flat and get kind of battered by a, a more fit, really physical team? team? Yeah. 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 Which I mean I'm, they I'm, might I'm concerned about. I mean, you see what Pow just did to Jim. I'm like, oh good luck yeah. against fucking Semenyo. Like that's a yeah. problem for them. Yeah. Um Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I think he's a good start this week, but I think like Next five, I would just rather spend that money elsewhere. Yeah. And he he's another one that falls in the same boat of like maybe he's 14, you just bring him straight back. Home Brentford, what about home Southampton. Rod- yeah. What do you see about with Rodgers? Like, are you happy to hold, to, to play him in some of these tougher games because he's so cheap or? No, not happy. You just, you just want to bench him. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. Yeah, bench or yeah. transfer. Bench or transfer, yeah. 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 That's that's yeah. what I think about him. And like, I, listen, I know he's a very fit, young, strapping young lad, but he's not playing fucking 90 in Europe and 90 in the league all season. No, well, that he's also... Not yeah. possible. I mean, he's also looked... I, I know he's returned recently, but he's looked like kind of bad. Like, he looked better in the games he wasn't returning at the beginning of the year than he has... In a lot, like the first four yeah. game weeks, I think he looked a lot better than he has in the last yeah. four game weeks. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. You know, he had he had no returns in the first four, and he has a lot of returns in the last four. So he's not um, playing five thousand minutes. And if he tries like the, you know, turn and dribble and take on three men against Spurs in game week ten, like he's gonna get fucked. Like they're just gonna press the shit out of him and win the ball nonstop. And same with Liverpool and same with Chelsea. You know, I, yeah. you know I, yeah, I'm not saying he'll complete zero dribbles or something like that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just not. He needs a rest. And like, I don't think those games cater to his skills. Yeah, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. Mm, Villa, tough one. So many good picks. Great. Villa it's a great tough, FPL yeah. season. It's a great it FPL is. season. No, it is. It is. It is. And it make, yeah. it's made better by Towers. Yeah. Well, if they can just. It's it's nice to know they can take away goals or assists at any point um, while you're well, they sleeping. Can whatever, they can do whatever they want. They can yeah. adjust bonus points tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's not. I tweeted at them actually before we potted. I said, "Are bonus points confirmed yet? Or goals and assists? No response. No, no response. Which to me means no, they're not confirmed yet. So yeah. we'll see how it goes. Let me slap." Some asses, new Patreon signups, Mark Blois, Ryan Dale, Colin Lettuce, Austin Berger, Arby, and the longest Pete. Get in there, baby. Slap that ass. Thank you for signing up. Walsh, any last words? I'll see you tomorrow, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. Check us out. At FMLPL.com, follow us on Twitter at FMLPL, sports, Patreon.com, slash FMLPL, subscribe, rate, review, too.